How's it going, Yankees fans? Yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? The most lit popping fan base out there of the New York Yankees. We don't sleep. We keep it going 24-7 all year round. Yankees fans, let's talk about Paul Goldschmidt. Here's why I don't like the Yankees training for him. The D-backs had the opportunity to move him this uh, trade deadline. It would have made sense to give up prospects for him, but they're going to pick up his 19 option. And to me, in my opinion, it sounds like an overhaul of the Yankees farm system. Obviously, it's been depleting after all those trades that really didn't help the Yankees win a World Series championship. And then to trade for a player like Goldschmidt, he's going to, sure, he's going to be great on the New York Yankees or on any team. But you do not take a gamble with your future for a player that you're practically renting. If you are going to make a deal with the D-backs, I would make a deal for starting pitching. Uh, Ray, like the Seminetti source has said repeatedly, the Seminetti source was really one of the first people out there to recommend a trade for Robbie Ray. So if I were the Yankees, I would avoid doing the D-backs a favor, obviously, they had a chance to move plenty of players this trade deadline and refused. Just as the Washington Nationals kept uh, second-guessing, uh, the D-backs second-guessed till the season was over. And look at now, they didn't really get players in return for the players that they had that were becoming free agents. But in this case, they're going to purposely pick up that 2019 option of Goldschmidt and then flip them for players. If I were the Yankees, I would say, hell no. The Yankees have a whole bunch of players, Boynt, Bird. They could even go out and sign a player like Daniel Murphy. So trading for Goldschmidt makes absolutely zero sense. You don't get nothing to return, really. You're just overhauling your uh, farm system. Yeah, you'll get a return. Goldschmidt would be solid at first base. But it's not a guarantee that he'll re-sign with the New York Yankees. And if he does, you're going to pay him a whole bunch of money. And all those players you traded for him, uh, they're not recoverable because the Yankees, sure, they had one of the top minor league systems, but now with all these trades, it's really being depleted again. Industry experts are saying this, that the Yankees are going to get Harper instead of Machado. I, for one, I want Harper. I, for one, believe that the Yankees need left-handed bats in that lineup and if a player like Murphy is a free agent, you look at him as well. Goldschmidt is a right-handed bat. I'm getting sick and tired of all these right-handed bats on the New York Yankees. I mean, just look at the statistics. Every New York Yankees team that won championships were heavily left-handed. It would be great if the Yankees pick up a Harper and Murphy. Then you have switch hitters like Hicks. Then when DD returns, you have another left-handed bat in your lineup. And if I were the Yankees, I would resign Didi because defensively, he's just great. You can forget about the offensive numbers, but defensively, Didi is a threat. Also, even though the Yankees have money to spend this offseason, you cannot get Harper and Machado. You cannot get those two players. But you can get, let's say, Daniel Murphy and a Harper. So, Yankee fans, what do you think? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. Do you like the idea of the Yankees going after Goldschmidt? Leave those comments, and like always, it has been Felix from nynews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.